Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I really hope that all of you guys have been amazing this entire while. So yes, today I have been like on a rampage of just buying new makeup and reviewing new makeup. So yes, you guys will see me really often nowadays. I just can't believe that Rare Beauty came out with the powder version of the soft pinch blushes. I had this in the shade Terracotta. So I picked up two shades from the Rare Beauty soft pinch luminous blush collection. So I think it's going to be a little bit on uh, like a more shimmery side. When I saw the shades online, I felt that they are not like those typical matte blushes, but they're really, um, you know, glittery at the same time. So I was like a bit uh, confused when I was picking them up. I thought that am I picking up a highlighter or am I just like picking up a blush? So and when I unpacked them as well before I did this makeup video, I saw the same thing that the blushes are luminous as fuck. Like it feels like as if you've opened a highlighter and not a blush. So I'm really curious to see how the blushes are going to turn out on my face. So first off, I'm going to show you guys the packaging of this blush. One of the blushes came broken, but I fixed it with a little bit of alcohol. And um, so if you guys have, don't know how to fix your makeup, I can do another video for you guys on that. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the packaging. So here's the box. I picked them up in two shades, one in Happy and one in Cheer. So Happy is a light pink so happy is described as like a true pink shade and i picked up cheer so cheer is selena gomez's custom shade it's the custom blush shade of selena but it's described as a light warm pink color so yes i picked up two pink shades but i just wanted to see how they turn out and how different they look because i'm somebody who really adheres and i'm drawn to a lot of warm tones like uh, summery tones like brown blushes Peachy blush. I'm somebody who doesn't have a lot of pink blushes. So that's why I picked up two pink this time. And they were looking really cute. So I picked them up. Yeah, I know you guys must be thinking, why did I pick up two pink shades? It doesn't make sense. But they're two different shades. And I just wanted to see how they look. Like, so I'm going to be doing a comparison as well. So put cheer on one cheek and happy on the other. So you guys can also understand how different the shades look. So I'm going to quickly just unbox. So one of the boxes came damaged and but I fixed it with a little bit of alcohol. So I'll do another video if you guys want to see how I fixed the makeup. And um, so I'm going to just so first I'm just going to unbox it. And here's the packaging of Rare Beauty's powder blush. It's so pretty and it's like the usual Rare Beauty packaging. But I just love how the blush looks inside. You guys can see how luminous it looks. It's as good as a highlighter but i mean let's see how this turns out to be on my cheek so the first shade is cheer so i'm just gonna swatch it on my hand first before i swatch it oh my god it's it's so bright i i i, I don't even believe that this is a blush in the first place i i just can't believe this like and the next shade i have here So this is the one that came broken, but it's okay. I fixed it. The next shade is happy. So you can see it. It's not clean on the inside, but I just fixed it. So basically it broke from here and I just added a little bit of alcohol and set it in place. And you can see that this is really different from Chior as well. This is a bit more darker, but Chior is really light and this is happy. So it looks like happy is like a bit of a mid-tone pink and cheer is a really light one and happy looks to have like um cooler undertones but cheer seems to have like warmer undertones i can see it because i am a warm undertone person and whenever i put something that has warm undertone like any makeup it just sort of creates this luminous thing on onto it and it looks more brighter than it's supposed to that's how i know that a product is a warmer undertone because it just looks more um you know uh, how can i it, it looks more luminous onto my skin and wherein if i just use something which has a cooler undertone it balances it out really well so, so i'm gonna quickly swatch both of these on my cheeks so first i'm gonna go ahead with cheer and i will swatch cheer on my one cheek and happy on the other so i'm gonna be using this brush from mac cosmetics so this is their powder brush actually. I got this 
rahungi um so i it's a limited edition brush you can see but i i think it's available so i'm just swatching chair on my cheeks and you can see it's really soft pink it doesn't show up much but it just adds that little bit of pop of color on my cheeks and also it has a very luminous finish to it i mean it feels like my cheeks are uplifted with the shade along with it like usually when you apply a highlighter that part of your face looks a little bit more uh, uplifted but here it's like on onto the cheeks itself it looks like as if there's something that's making my cheeks stand out with this color next i'm going to go ahead with happy and i'm going to swatch this really gently because it broke i might as well just clean it up a bit so so here's happy i think this is going to be a little bit more darker than chio but So you can see my cheeks how it's just standing out as if I put highlighter on my cheeks but that's not the case because I can see that the shade I can just see that the shade is shining along with the my cheeks and it it feels like as if I put highlighter on my cheeks but that's not the case like if you look at it there's a tint of color and that pop of color as well I think when it comes to this particular blush I would rather like use it on top of my cheeks than just go all the way like all over my cheeks because it's just making that part of my face like stand out a lot. It it makes you feel like as if you've done like a really nice dewy makeup and your blush is just blended so well like with you know it just seems like as if you have blended your blush like a creme blush or liquid blush so well with your foundation that it's just so do we at the same time like it's powder but it looks like as if i've got like some you know uh, like a liquid like a really powerful liquid uh, shine on my face i don't know how to describe it like a very intense dewy blush or like a combination of like a dewy blush with a dewy makeup like it's literally making my face look like that and if i actually like take my words back i don't want to put it like on just one part of my face i just want to put it like all over my cheeks now but i'm really happy with the shade happy looks nice on me so i'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit onto my nose i want to see how it looks it looks as if like i have perfect skin and it makes me look like as if i've got a really nice flushed look all over my face with that perfect dewy makeup and my face is like flawless and a little on my chin a little bit i just feel like i'm i'm going to put it all over my face and make my face look pink and healthy and i mean it just gives you that healthy shine i didn't expect this product to be this good like i thought that it's going to be like something which is uh, like a normal blush and not so luminous but when when she said it like a soft pink luminous blush i think this blush just holds true to its words honestly speaking just look at my face wherever i've applied it all over my face it looks as if like i have like no like imperfections on my skin and my face is like a really nice flushed look all over my face and i have a healthy glow which i am just liking it i just love it i i i can't stop looking at myself in the mirror so um honestly speaking i think happy i think is the shade for me because it's popping out more than cheer but uh, i just want to like apply a little bit of cheer on my face just to see how it's going um like i said that happy would be like i think happy is the better shade for me because i am a warm undertone person and i think a cool undertone makeup just anything which has cool undertones when it comes to makeup will just balance my undertone but you can see the difference between the shades like here there's like a slighter more balanced look where in here my face looks more luminous than usual so like i mentioned before that this is what happens when i apply warm makeup and cooler makeup on my face so um i've done like a little bit of research with my like on myself on my skin 
when it comes to makeup when it comes to undertones of your makeup so if you guys want me to like do another video on undertones and how to choose your makeup why certain makeup looks look really bad like why certain types of makeup looks like seem really bad on your skin and everything is just out, out of place and the makeup just doesn't seem to get together so it's basically all about undertones and i've tried to figure it out and i've done it on myself so if you guys want me to do like another makeup video on undertones and how i have a balanced look of undertone on my skin i will happily do it for you guys i'm just completely blown away with the blushes i'm really happy with them and i'm really happy with happy so all the links of these products are mentioned on the description below they're available on sephora so you guys can go ahead and just click the link below to shop them and if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i also have a web blog so do not forget to subscribe to my website blog as well do not forget to subscribe to my channel because i post a lot about makeup and i like posting a lot of guides um you know certain guides about colors themes makeup looks etc so if you are somebody who's always on the lip of something new then do not forget to subscribe to my web blog and if you guys are new here do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as well and i will see you guys in another makeup video